Joseph Parker versus Zile Zhang. Let's get into it. Reaction video. So my thoughts on Joseph Parker versus Zile Zhang. It was a fight I thought was going to get made. Uh, and I think it's a good fight for Joseph Parker. Coming off the win against Deontay Wilder. A, a win that I, expect, I expected Wilder to look bad. I expected Joseph Parker to look good. I expected Joseph Parker to beat Wilder for a number of reasons. Reason number one, inactivity. Reason number two, Deontay Wilder just is not that good technically. He's not a very good boxer. Yes, he's got the one-punch knockout power, and that's what he is. Uh, one hit to quitter, that's what I think Wilder is. He's not a very good boxer, but he's a tremendous puncher, and he's athletic. Um, that's what makes Deontay Wilder so good. He's, he's quick, he's athletic, but he does a lot of things technically which would not be advised, you know. Backing straight up with his chin up in the air, uh, backing up with his hands in the air. I could go through all those things, but he's got one punch knockout power. It's the speed in Wilder's punch that catches a lot of guys off. Um, so, yeah. That being said, uh, the second reason why I think that Wilder's going to lose the fight is because of his trainer. I don't think... I think his trainer makes him very comfortable. Him and Wilder are good friends. And I don't rate... I, I, there's nothing that Malik Scott has done as a trainer that I can say, wow. And it's not disrespect. It's just that you give a man credit where it's due and... I can't give a man credit where it's due because I don't think Malik I don't think Malik Scott has made Wilder a better fighter. In fact, I think he's taken Wilder backwards just by looking at that Parker fight. Wilder's trying to box. Why is he trying to box? Anyway, next. So that's two things. Third thing is that uh where he went I can't remember what the drug is, but basically not, not aphrodisiac, but it basically relaxes your mind. So it relaxes your body, makes you chill out. That's just the third thing. So you lack ambition to really have that hunger and drive. And fourth, Wilder has come, Wilder has done what he he's overachieved. Deontay Wilder, what ten defenses or nine or ten defenses of WBC World Cha Championship as, as as champion, um, and big a, a great knockout run, one of the biggest punches in heavyweight history, and. He only went out, was it to look after his daughter? To make sure, his, you know, to pay, pay the bills for his, his daughter's med medical records, or medical bills. So, he's, he's overachieved. So, Wilder doesn't need to come back and fight again. In fact, I don't want to see Wilder in a ring again, to be honest. Okay, that being said, this is about Joseph Parker and Zhang. I believe Joseph Parker has had good practice to face Zhang. Because with Parker... With Wilder, you're looking at for the right hand and the speed. Zhang is not as fast as Wilder. Nowhere near. And while Zhang has got one punch knockout power, or, you know, he's got that left hand on him. And the right hand, of course. The right hook. The left, the left hand and the right hook. Those punches look devastating against a guy who's got no defense and very slow footwork. That is Joe Joyce. So when you put that... And you highlight the two fights Zhang has had against Joe Joyce. It makes Zhang look devastating. But if you go and look at other Zhang fights against Herkovich, whose head wasn't in the game, but I don't rate Herkovich, I think he's very overrated. If you go back and look at if you go back and look at Zhang carefully and look at his record, it's not that great. He's not guys out that he's expected to knock out. So I think Joseph Parker's got a great chance of winning this fight. But I don't think he does it off the I don't think he does it off the back foot. I actually think if I'm Joseph Parker and his team, I tell Joseph Parker, take the centre of the ring and be first. Be first. You know, when Zhang throws his shots, then get in and throw yours after. Either throw your shots after Zhang throws punches or show throw your shots in between Zhang throwing punches. Because either way, if he's throwing punches, he's committing. And once he's committed. You're there to hit to counter and throw shots in. And if you throw in between, he's throwing as well. So you can't throw again while you're throwing. So I would throw with Zhang. Why? Because I've got the faster hands. I've got a better I've got a better footwork. You know. Um, I've just been in with Yonte Wada. So there's no way a guy that big is going to is gonna have as much hand speed as 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 uh, Wilder. Now, fundamentally Zhang is a better boxer. Fundamentally. The way he set up everything. And the Olympic was silver or gold medalist. 
he's he, he he's fundamentally set up properly. Well, I mean fundamental the jab, the left the the right jab, the left the left. You know, he, he's set up right like a fundamental boxer. Whereas Wilder's all over the place, quite literally, um, and he's not he, very unorthodox. So for me, I think I think Parker's got it. He, he, Parker's just got to be careful. A staying on the ropes, one, and two, he shouldn't be getting countered by a guy that he's faster than. So if you can land shots, get in, do work, slip to the slides. Don't come straight, but do not go straight back on the ropes and keep your back off the ropes. If you can keep the fight at the center ring and full zang back. Now to beat a southpaw, the best way to beat a southpaw is to keep them on the ropes because when they're on the ropes, they need a southpaw or an orthodox. You back them up, you beat them up. So that's the strategy for me. And I would really make Zhang work at a pace he's not used to, to test that stamina. Parker cannot be, you know, moving around the ring four or five rounds and Zhang's just following him around the ring. That's going to, that'll tire Parker out, but you won't tire Zhang out because Zhang's at his pace. At that age, you've got to force the pace and you've got to make him pay. So if he puts his hand out to throw a shot, boom, you're countering through the middle. Through the middle, inside. Like how um, Holyfield fought Foreman. You, but, but don't stand on the outside. Do not stand straight on the outside and just stand there like a, you know, because you, you will get zanged. If you stand right in front of Zang, yeah, and you do nothing, you've got to be doing that. You've got to keep turning this guy and popping him. You've got to keep popping him. So when he throws his shots, you've got to be there to counter. So either you're counting, you're either counting this gentleman, uh, Zhang, or you're forcing the attack. But he, for me, if you're forcing the attack, you've got to be right in with a Zhang. Do you know what I mean? Or right out, so you're right out of range, so you're not getting hit. But if you're at the end of that punch, you're getting, you're getting Zhang. And if your back touches the ropes and he's throwing that left hand or the right cross, you're in trouble. But Parker should see those shots. Parker should see those shots. So for me, I'm looking to see Parker win this fight by points or late round stoppage where Zhang has got tired from having to work at such a, a hard, having to work at a heavy, a fast work rate. That's what I think. Parker will not win this fight, uh, just jab, move and move around the ring. It's not going to happen. And it would, and I think that's what Zhang would expect Parker to do, move around the ring. So, you know, the style that actually would be good against Zhang is the way also Hay for the, uh, value F. Sniper mode. In, out. In, out. And get, get in, out, and to the sides. Do not stay on the ropes. Do not stay on the ropes. That's my thoughts. For Zhang, I think he should conserve his energy and look to unload only when he can get Parker close to the ropes, then let your shots go. Uh, it, I, I also, if I'm Parker, I'm working the body. If I'm up close, I'm whacking that body. There's a lot of Zang to hit. So, I'm going with a Parker win. I just think Parker's movement, his hand speed, his footwork, coming off the fight against Deontay Wilder, and activity-wise, I'm going with Parker on this one. Could be wrong. Zhang is a Zhang. Zhang does have punching power, um, and if Parker is foolish enough to stick around and 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 allow Zhang to unload on him, or oh, Parker tires, then that's the only way I see Zhang knocking Parker out. Otherwise, I think Parker's going to be able to see all the shots come in, and you know I'd like to see him land his own shots. I want to can land some hard shots on Zhang early, hurt him then he, Zhang might not be so brave to come forward. Those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Who you think wins and why? Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, leave your comments. This has been BWTM Sports. Reaction video, we're out.